Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Pisha coming to you guys with another video. Yes, I know I look a mess. <laughs> I know I look a mess. My hair looks super dry. I went to the beach last weekend and um, I did wash my hair, but today I was at work in my uniform. I have a black uniform and I was like scratching my hair and noticed I still had sand in my hair. So today what I'm gonna do is um, bring you guys along while I wash my hair and um, show you guys how I achieve this look. And if you guys would like to um, if you guys would like to see how I achieve that look, go ahead and stay tuned. Today, this is the shampoo I'm going to be using. I'm going to go and use this um, shampoo here. And the reason I use this is pretty much just for the scent so my hair can smell good. And then once I'm done with this, I'm going to go ahead and use this uh, clarifying shampoo. This is, um, I got this from Walmart, I think, you know, tea tree uh, moisturizing shampoo. It has zero um, sulfates, parabens, dyes, gluten, and you know, the whole shebang. And um, stay tuned. All right, welcome back. So let's go ahead and wash my hair. Hey guys welcome back i am all done with washing my hair my hair is wet let me show you guys my hair hopefully i'm nicely washed all right so when i'm done washing my hair i do not put conditioner in my hair so therefore you know it's a little basic my wash routine is a little basic so now what i'm going to do i'm going to moisturize my hair with this applicator here and it's olive oil um a little bit of tea tree and lavender oil for the scent 
and then I have this um, extra dark Jamaican Lourdes Masquiti castor oil. This, I only pretty much do it right here on my edges because, you know, your girl edges is a little weak, a little weak. So I just put it right here on my edges. Um, this, I refuse to lock because I have been working on my edges. So what I do, I just like um, moisturize it, twist it, and leave it. The other side on the... <laughs> The other side is a little worse. The other side is a little thinner. So, yeah, that's it. That's my edges. So what I do, I just go ahead and take the applicator and just focus on my scalp. Pretty much everything is focused on my scalp. There's no reason for me to uh, moisturize the shaft of my hair. I feel like once I moisturize the scalp, it's just going to eventually stream down the shaft of my hair. So that's what I do. You know, just... Get it in there. And then just mix it in there. Hopefully I'm in frame so you guys can see me. Is this on? Yeah, we're good. <laughs> So now all I do with the castor oil, I just put a little bit on my fingers, just a little bit, as you can see, and then I go ahead and just rub it on my edges. And then I just roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, and I just leave it alone. I just make sure it doesn't lock, you know, you have to check it. I have to check it from time to time, comb it out or whatnot, so it won't lock. Maybe as it gets longer, maybe I'll think about locking it, but as of right now, my edges are just too weak for that to carry like a heavy lock, can you imagine? Popping off and stuff. All right, so that's what I do. And I do it sometime for the back, so let me go ahead and do it in the back. That's it. That's it for moisturizing. And then, all right, so like I showed you before from the picture, that's the um, hairstyle that I'm achieving. And usually when I end up putting it in a bun, that's because when I take it out in the morning, if it doesn't look right, I put it in a ponytail for the, like the entire week or two weeks. Like when I do flexi rod um, styles, like, it can stay in my hair for at least two weeks or unless until I wash it out. So here's the flexi rods that I have. I have different sizes, different colors, cheap ones from the dollar store. I got these. What I usually do is I use these for the back of my hair because it's longer. And then I use um, the shorter ones, the shorter ones for the front of my hair. So, and then I, one thing I do is I make sure I get like two or three. I always use like two or three. So let me show you guys the first few, how I do it first. And then maybe I'll go ahead and speed up. Yeah, I'll probably like speed up the video or maybe I'll come back. Let's see how I'm feeling. I don't care which way my curl pattern goes because um, we'll just see in the morning because I kind of just want, I just want it to be in a ponytail, like looking like Medusa. <laughs> so we'll see. And I'm already kind of like over doing this. So now I'm just doing like three, per, I mean four per rod.
All right, so here we go. This is it. I mean, nothing special, um, nothing neat. Hopefully, I didn't want, I didn't leave one out. Get a little closer so you guys can see. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it like this. Um, I don't know. I might. I've been thinking about blow drying it a little bit. And then I'm gonna go ahead and head out to the gym downstairs, you know, do my night routine and then let it air dry. And then you guys will see the finished product tomorrow morning. So stay tuned. See you guys soon. All right guys, so I just removed everything. And so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and separate them. I got the Medusa look going. <laughs> Alright, so what you're gonna need, this is what I use to go ahead and put it in a ponytail. What do I do? I'm just go ahead and use my brush real quick. I never notice how hard it is to do a style using a camera because I have to stay in frame to show you guys. Take it off. And then there you have it. And then hold on. For the edges. <laughs> I know a lot of people don't like, you know, Eco Styler, but I literally just use it here. And then I'm gonna look at my face, put a little bit of makeup. You know, I don't wear makeup that much during the week, so there you have it. I'm gonna give you guys a close up of my curls. And go ahead and tell me how you guys uh, enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, any comments, go ahead and leave it below. And I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> Bye.